Hello everyone and welcome to our second episode of Westeros Craft Walks hosted by yours truly, Dutch Guard. Today we're going to be looking at two of our builds, Bee Chester, which you're looking out at now, and the Ring, which we'll walk to in just a minute. Um, so we've started at this really cool scenic overlook in the bell tower of Bee Chester's mother house. And a mother house is sort of the school and uh, residence of Septas, Septas who are the women priests, uh, if you will, of the Faith of the Seven. Um, this looks like their dining hall here. You can see the really cool stained glass and banners showing all the different uh, points of the seven-pointed star. Um, we've got some portraits all around this building as well. That one looks like the stranger up there. Uh, so let's make our way out of here and walk through the town. Uh, so to give you a geographical reference of where Beechester is on our map, uh, Beechester is located just west of King's Landing, and it is officially located in the Riverlands, and its overseeing lord is House Tully. Um, it's situated along the Gold Road, which is the road that runs uh, west to east from King's Landing to Lannisport. Uh, of course, we're not going to walk to Lannisport today because that would take way too long. I bet you it would take at least an hour. Um, so we're just going to stick to Beechester and the Ring today. Uh, so we've got some really, really cool houses in Beechester. Um, they're all fully, fully furnished, as I've already explained in my previous video. Um, we've got this really cool stream splitting up the town. We've got sort of a north and south side uh, with this gate dividing the two, maybe for defensive purposes. Um, so on our walk t uh, down the Gold Road to the Ring, we're going to come across some farmland, and I'll get to show you that. We might see some really cool forests and some maybe even some wildlife. Uh, <laughs> we've done that pretty creatively, but we'll get to that later. Um, we've got these really cool arches here. Um, this style I really love. Um, we really can do the most with the Dub and Waddle here. And um, we've got loads and loads of, of plant life, which really makes the area really pretty, and I just love it. Um, so here we are at a mill, I think. Yeah, we've got a... This looks like a millstone in here. Let's check out what's upstairs. Looks like the living quarters for the mill master and apprentice. Uh, let's make our way around, see if we can find the the wheel. It must be a water wheel around here somewhere. So that, that's the high part of the river. Oh, I see, this must be the dam. And there's the wheel right there. So I think, yep, yeah, you can see the gate on the left there is open to let the water flow through. And I guess if you close that one and open the other one, you can get the wheel to start spinning. Um, of course, not actually, but that's the way it's meant to look anyway. Uh, so here we are. You might have seen that flash of blue in the right hair. That is a field of flax, uh, which of course is used to make linen and all sorts of fancy cloths. Uh, right, so we've got a nice sign here. So here we are. This is the Gold Road. So to the east here, we've got uh, Beechester. We've just come through and King's Landing. And to the west, we're heading towards the Ring and Girdle, which is its, uh, its town. Um, the Ring, of course, being the fort of House Ruxton. So there's that field of flax. We've got some pumpkins, looks like. Got some mustard over there, um, which of course is just yellow flowers, but you've got to use your imagination. Uh, we've got some lovely, lovely trees here. Looks like some yew trees, some cottonwood trees. Uh, those must be blueberries. Um, so we've really, really gone through a lot of effort to make this farmland as realistic as possible. This shrubbery you see here is known as bocage, which is sort of the fancy French word for uh, hedges. <laughs> Uh, I've been told this is a field of beets. Um, again, just use your imagination. We do have sort of different styles uh, we have to uh, use to compensate for our lack of, of blocks in some cases. But for the most part, we get some really cool variety. Like these are raspberries, um, which have this lovely little pink berries texture for leaves. Um, what else we got? Oh, these must be grapes. Yeah, they're all lined up in the big vineyard there. Um, so as I said, we're heading along the gold road here. Uh, eventually we're going to reach the border that go crosses from the Riverlands into the Reach. The Reach, of course, being one of the largest regions of the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, so we're heading from Tullylands into Tyrell lands, uh, although the Ring and the Girdle are controlled by House Roxton. So this stone structure you see up ahead of you here is, I guess, a gatehouse or a bridge house. We've got a nice sign pointing us in the right direction. Um, so you can see the Tully flags just there. So we're heading from the Riverlands, we're crossing the Blackwater here, and heading into the Reach. And there you can see the colors of the Tyrell sigil. Um, what else we got here? We got like, a little fishing boat there. Looks like another boat just parked on the side there. Um, lots of really, really cool details. Um, so we're heading from one project into the next now. 
Uh, so this is the ring. And uh, I've got some cool lanterns lighting the way. What was I? Welcome to the Reach. Here we are, the Reach. It's official. We've got some, looks like dead trees here. All part of the detail. We've got a nice forest on the right here. Oh, someone's lost a wheel. <laughs> um, oh, look at this. This is amazing. So we've got this. Just This is typical of the Reach. Just endless farmland. Um, the Reach, which is said to be the breadbasket of Westeros. Uh, Another over here, yeah, it looks like peeking from behind those trees, we've got a tower house. Don't have time for that today, but if you warp to the ring or to Beechester, you can go take a look at that yourself. So we're just heading through the farmland here along this um, wagon path. It looks like a scarecrow down that way. Um, so this is specifically a, a road designed, or not designed, but used by wagons. It's got sort of a strip of grass in the middle with wheel tracks on either side. So tomorrow right here we've got wheat, you know, endless amounts of wheat. Looks like we've got carrots or some other, you know, whatever you want it to be, an orange vegetable. Um, got a nifty looking scarecrow over here with a, uh, with a potted dead weed for a head. Um, this looks like fallow lands here, fallow lands which of course are uh, sort of fields that are out of use, which are being refertilized for the next season. Alright, looks like we're heading into just the outskirts of Girdle now. This must be the farmhouse that controls these lands. Uh, that's a granary on the left there where they store all the grain. Um, so you can already see there are slight differences. We've still got uh, the Dobbin and Waddle going on and the peaked roofs, though they are in different regions. They're still quite close to each other, so Beechester and uh, Girdle in the Ring have a pretty similar style. Another sign, so yep, heading in the right direction. Back that way is Beechester. Oh, cool, look at that. That's a pretty big windmill over there. Um, I'm guessing they grind the wheat there into grain and store it in the granary there. Very cool. Um, Ooh, let's check this out. This is pretty cool as well. We've got a we've got a really nifty sort of bees texture. You can see them just buzzing around there. So I can get a better look. Whoa. And this brown thing must be the beehive. Uh, so in the RPG, we're going to try and do things like maybe you can loot that beehive for honey if we create a honey item, which heals you or you can use in crafting or or whatever. Um, so by placing those things in the world now, we can uh, take advantage of them later. So I think yeah, this must be girdle now. Um, Looks like they're smaller houses than Beechester, mostly thatch-roofed. Let's take a look at one of these houses. Uh, oh, we've got a very... <laughs> don't burn your feet in the way in! <laughs> uh, let's take a look at another one. Uh, right, so it's pretty cozy, very small. We've got a, uh, a thatch bed here, some bread, uh, a plate. <laughs> so this might be the poor area of Girdle. We're just going to make our way through and head towards the keep. Um, it's a very, very scenic area. We've got, oh, look at those beautiful meadowlands here. Um, those look like some bigger houses over there. We're going to keep heading towards the keep. Uh, got a little pond here for some fishing, recreation. It looks kind of dirty. Maybe you don't want to swim in it, but, you know, nice uh, natural, natural landscape. Uh, loads and loads of trees in this area. I don't know if you can, if you can see that just there. I've just passed it. Uh, there's sort of a round roof there, and that's sort of a telltale sign of a sept which tend to be seven-sided buildings, um, used to uh, worship the seven, seven gods of Westeros, of course, uh, uh, when, which ties nicely into where we started, which was at the Mother House. Um, so we've got some more buildings here, some laundry hanging out. Look, these look like stables. We've got some hay, we've got some poo and some flies. Um, so we're just going to keep heading down. Ah, this looks like Girdle proper, so that looks like the main square there. I don't have time to explore Girdle, but by all means, slash warp Girdle when you're in-game and take a look. It's a really, really nifty town with loads and loads of detail. Um, this looks like a hanging tree. I think that's what this is. Oh, someone didn't have a good time here. So that looks like the remains of a noose, and uh, <laughs> someone was unmercifully executed at this tree. Oh, here we go, and just here... Crossing this little bridge, we've got the glorious keep of House Roxton of the Ring. So this castle is known as The Ring, and rightly so, because it is in the shape of a ring, or a donut, probably more accurately. We've got another cool beehive up in there. Um, what's down here? Oh, these look like fields, more fields. Those look like blackberries. Um, so uh, everywhere around here you'll find crops being grown, and this, this uh, thickets, and uh, bushes, and brambles, and... The whole big forest that way, um, which we'll, uh, I'll try and explore maybe in a later video because we have some really, really cool forests on our server. So that's way, that way is back to Girdle, and that way is to Shermer's Grove. But where we want to go is up this road towards the ring. So you can see there's this really cool combination of you know, the very strong, 
um, sturdy stone materials and some dub and wattle accents on the sides there. This road looks like it goes just around the base of the keep, or the hill that the keep is situated on. But more meadowland there. Really, there is no block left untouched in this whole area, which is something I really, really love about the way this project was done. Um, so you can see some hay bales in that field down that way. Uh, so here we are, heading into the keep of House Roxton, the ring, um, into this little middle courtyard here. So like I said, it's shaped like a ring. <laughs> Sometimes we have to go on uh, just a few details, and all we really had for the ring was that it was called the ring. Um, oh, cool, so we've got this little mini set in the castle here, so you can see all the portraits of the seven here. This is a very faith-based episode, I must say. Uh, let's head up here, see so if we can get a view of the surrounding lands. Uh, what's up here? Looks like some, some money being exchanged. Ooh, cool, these are barracks. We've got some swords on the wall there. On the ends of the beds, some shields, banners, helmets. Very, very cool. Uh, ooh, let's go up this ladder. Yoink. And we're up. Some more beds for soldiers. Um, they've probably got a pretty strong garrison of soldiers here. Um, looks like a little armory up here. Where does this go? Oh, cool, this leads out onto the roof. Um, but I think I want the other side to get a good view of the town. Here we are. So you can see Girdle in the distance there. Those, I think, those were the blackberries we passed earlier. That might be the hanging tree. Look at that. There's just fields all the way around this build. Um, so it is endlessly explorable. And it makes it realistic as well, because, you know, people have to live off the land. And, uh, you know, it's, it's prime time for harvesting all these really great crops. Um, so anyway, I'll stop there for today. Um, take a look at these builds in-game. You can warp the ring, warp girdle, warp Beechester. Take a look at them all. They're all really great builds. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Leave any feedback in the comments below. And I'll see you next time for episode 3.